Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Yeah. Today my friends, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot on the run, part 3. I'm excited for this. You know what I mean? We've got a new boss to take on, Nitro Dingo Dial. Obviously we took on Nitro Virus in our previous part. And before that we took on Scorp uh, Scorporilla, I think, it, like, I think that's the way its name was. Uh, Brother Cetus, it's just been a lot of fun man. I'm really, really am loving this game. And I'm hoping that you all enjoy the content on it as well. So, with that being said, we've got a new environment to explore as well, the Lost City. So I just want to just try and give you a lot of, lot, I mean a very lot of content on this game. I want to try is basically do a lot of exploring and see what's new that's in this game that we haven't experienced yet. But I just hope that you're all enjoying it, man, because I want to keep trying to throw you even more videos on this every now and then. You know I mean, it's just, it's just one of them games which... Since I played the alpha to it, it's just, I don't know, I kind of got really addicted to it. It's, I don't know what it is, it's just something about this game that makes me want to play this game in my free time. Obviously when I'm not playing Call of Duty or Round Royale or recording all the videos, or whilst I'm waiting for videos to render, this is the type of game that I would go, do you know what, I'm going to have 20 minutes on this particular game whilst I'm waiting for something. You know what I mean? So, it's just one of them boys. Let's take on this elephant now, come on. All right, Pinky, let's get this done, okay? <laughs> Sending them back to another dimension. We've got the power gem as well. See, I'm, ex All right, I'm proper looking forward to exploring like new environments as well, like what type of different environments there's going to be in future videos. So obviously, we've gone from the Turtle Woods to now the Lost City. So it's just makes me excited, man. Gets me really excited. I just want to see what's what's like, what else there is. I want to know as well. Is this game ever like does it does it go on forever or is there a certain limit where it stops? Oh, I've completely rewired the, the ticky head. Prepare the ticky head. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Drag the steps into the ticky head, sure, hope this works. Okay. So all the steps that you do, I've got 18,000... Well, 18.5k. So you drag all these in. Hang on. You just keep dragging these in. Same with Wampa Fruit as well. You get these uh, trophy cups for you. Okay, nice. Obviously, as well, I've heard that you can join, um, like, groups as well, like, teams. And it's like a, a leveling, like, leaderboard as well. It shows, like, your ranking and stuff with your team. So the more you play, the higher you're going to be. Which I think is a really cool thing. I noticed that when I saved the game off camera. Like, after my previous part. I'm just going to keep feeding this thing just so we can get loads of these trophy cup things. I want to know if there's any more, like, of a more purpose for these trophy cups. Like, if you can use them for something or to unlock something. Good. Um, what are my challenges? Alright, so let's cut these uh, items. Okay. Right. Uh, Alright, let's go defeat this uh, frosty crab. Um, so the Lost City Battle Run. Let's do this, boys. Let's do it. Yep. 
I am a god right now. Best thing is as well with this, if it is that you forget to uh, spin the crates or anything, you can just walk into them when, you, when you've when got your third Aku Aku on. So when you've got the Aku Aku mask on your face, you can just walk into crates. Um, obviously, you can still die if you like, you know, you mess up and you walk into like a brick block or something like that or anything like that, you can still die. But when it comes to like normal crates, you should be able to just break them. Down, boys. <laughs> so, yeah, as well, one thing I want to ask you guys as well are you happy with the multiple uploads that I'm trying to do on a daily, like on a day to day basis? You probably noticed over the last few days um, that I've uploaded quite a few videos, like multiple videos in one go on one particular day or something. Do you like that sort of approach or do, you, or do you prefer like one video a day? Let me know. Because if it is that you do prefer multiple uploads, I can try and give you multiple uploads on a regular basis. Whether it's on little games or fan games or just as a natural playthrough videos. It's up to you, okay? Because I can try and do that sort of thing. It will be difficult because obviously we'll be working as well. And obviously running two channels, but I can try and do that for you all if it's something you would like to see. Now we know that our steps and Wampa through can be used for something. I want to collect as much of it as possible now. The more the better. Bring it on, bro. Okay, come on, bring it on. Nice. Dab, dab, dab. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's all about the, the double dabs. Some new stuff, boys. Nice. Uh, right, let's go with battle this one. This is an enemy that we haven't fight, like we haven't fought against yet. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this one plays out. I'm just thinking as well, like, what other enemies could we encounter along playing this game, like, in future parts? Like, gonna be, there's going to be obviously the main enemies that we know from previous games, like Ripperoo and Tiger Tiger and stuff. I'm guessing they will be, at some point, making an appearance in the game, especially if, like, Dingo Dial's in the game. Um, other than that, though, what other enemies can you think of that would be really cool to fight against? Or what other characters, in your opinion, would you like to see as playable characters? Do you want to just see Crash and Coco, or would you prefer to see other characters as well? Or well, maybe they could do like crossover characters, because obviously, if they get the rights to it, you could get like maybe Spyro in the game or something. I think that'd be really cool if they like did that sort of approach. Alright, so got spider dudes, man. Alright. Pesky little creepy crawlies. Ain't no match for me, okay? Jammy, bro. We're, we're proper jammy. Oh, cool. On the reward things, next unlocks is going to be... Um, Fake crash, which obviously 
back in the day, Fake Crash was one of these things that you just see every now and then and one of the levels just pop up just doing its own little thing. I think the last time I saw a Fake Crash in in a Crash Bandicoot game, I think it was a character that you could unlock in Nitro Refueled. But, in the traditional Crash Bandicoot game, I think it was Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. I think it was in that game. I think it was just in one of the levels, just doing his own little thing, just standing around or something. I think it's more like a little Easter egg or something. Alright, let's get this done, boys. Just collect as much resources as possible. Just then I've got them, you know what I mean? I will be doing a lot of this sort of thing as well off camera for future videos and everything guys because the fact is as much as I don't mind doing it on videos I just don't want to drag out the videos for too long because I don't want to, I don't want you guys watching me do this sort of thing for like 55 minutes you know what I mean because it probably will bore you so I will be doing like a lot of farming to get resources and stuff off camera but then I'll do a little bit of it every now and then on videos if that if of course that's what you prefer I just hope that you're enjoying these little videos and would like to see more of them in the future. If you do, like I said, we can continue a playthrough on this game to try and give as many videos on it as possible. Exploring new areas and defeating more bosses and stuff and unlocking new stuff. Me personally, I just want new skins, man. You know what I mean? Just new skins for, for our characters. And if there is any other playable characters, I want to unlock them. You know what I mean? I mean, if it says that you guys really enjoy these videos, I will consider putting money into it if it comes down to obviously up getting certain skins off the store. If it is that you guys really enjoy it, there's not many games that I will physically go out the way and put physical money into the game. The, main, the most games that I, like the main games I've done in the past that I've done that on is Round Royale and Call of Duty games because obviously, as you guys know, if you've been watching my main channel for a long time, I'm a massive Call of Duty fan and always have been. But. As it is, if it is that you do like this and want me to put some money into it, then I will. You know what I mean? I'll go out the way and I'll buy the skins. The skins don't seem too expensive. They're like, I think the special offer with the biker skins like, what, £5 in the UK? Which, I don't mind putting a fiver into the game just to give you guys some skin gameplays. But that's, that's down to you guys, okay? If not, I'm happy just doing what we're doing. I'm looking forward to fight, like fighting uh, Dingo Dog as well. We'll see how that all, like, how that's going to all play out. So I'm guessing each boss is going to get a lot more tricky as we go along. Like they're just going to start off easy and eventually become insanely difficult to defeat. I'm guessing that's how it's going to go, just like how it is in traditional Crash Bandicoot games. Right. What stuff do we need? Um, okay. So we need two of these. You boy can do that easy. Alright, I'm ready. Let's fight Dingo Dial. Nitro Dingo Dial. Bring it on, my friends. Let's get this done.
can't believe this is going to be my first boss, but uh, my third boss fight in this game. Saying that though, no my luck, I'm going to be looking back at this video at some point in the future and I'll probably be defeated by like a hundred odd bosses by then, but I don't know man. I'm just enjoying it for what it is. This game, I, I do think this game's got a lot of potential to become a very, very big mobile game. Especially for the people who love things like Temple Run and stuff, because believe it or not, Temple Run games are really good. Like, they're very competitive, a lot of people want to try and get really far through them. But for me, with this being a Crash Bandicoot game, being like a big influence on like my childhood, because obviously like I mentioned in the previous part, that I grew up with Crash Bandicoot games, you know what I mean? They were a big part of my childhood. That's why I'll always have like a lot of nostalgic vibes when I see Crash Bandicoot games. Um, so, playing this sort of thing, man, it's an honor, you know what I mean? I love playing these sorts of things. I apologize if you can hear my alarm going off there in the background. Hold on. I don't want this guy turning him into a fried crisp, you know what I mean? I'm trying to barbecue us, man. Ready for this one, Dingo Dial? my friends we defeated him easy boys <laughs> get out of here all right it's another boss down We'll unlock some new stuff. Is Fake Crash gonna be a skin or is that? Oh, he's a boss. Okay, so he's the next boss, Fake Crash. Okay, I thought he was gonna be a skin for our character. Time trials have been unlocked. Try and keep up, Slowpokes. The Platinum Relic is mine. Race against the clock to win each land's time trial relics. Okay, so we'll be able to get relics now. Shall we try it? Shall we try and go for a rally? You know what, boys? I think we should try it. I think we should do it. You know what I mean? I'm probably going to suck at this, but... If we can get a rally, that's all that matters. I don't really care if we get a platinum or gold or anything. Let's just try and get a rally, okay? Just for this video. Wish me luck, okay? I'll try not to suck at this. <laughs> Alright. Go, 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 go. Just basically speed through the, the map as quickly as possible. <laughs> I forgot to jump in time. It's alright though. We'll give it another go. I'm expecting to mess up with these sorts of things because you've just got to rush, you know what I mean? There's no taking the time in, so... I do apologise if it does take me a, a few attempts. Jump, jump. Woo! 
Come on. Oh my days. This is getting quicker and quicker. Man, this game's giving me no chill, bro. No chill whatsoever. Alright. Damn it, man! I thought I'd managed to get under it then. I must have timed my slide a little bit too early or something. I thought I timed it a bit too late. One of them. I must have timed it a bit too early because you only have like a limited amount of time during your slide, so. It might, have been a bit, a bit, might have been a little bit too early. I might have just been getting up as it was going under. Damn it. <laughs> Oh man, I feel like a big noob now. I'm not doing this. Come on. Focus, Aaron. Come on. Do it. Focus. Oh, I'm still alive, I don't know, but we're still alive, boys, that's all that matters. Come on, Aaron. Focus. Don't die. Jump. Jump. Speed, 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 jump. There we go. I don't even know what the relic time is that we need to be. So I don't know what, what time we're going up against. I'm assuming it's probably going to be like a minute or something. I'm guessing. Okay, we got we got the rally boys. We got the uh, Sapphire rally. So obviously, just like the original Crash Bandicoot games, you get the Sapphire, you get the Gold, you get the Platinum. I'm guessing the Platinum's going to be some ridiculous time. Um, but, with that being said, at least we got a Relic, you know what I mean? And I'm happy with that. Obviously, if you would like me to try and do speedruns for the Goldens and the Platinums in the future, then just let me know down below in the comment section. But other than that, I'm hoping that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. would really, really appreciate it. Next time around, it looks like we're going to be taking on Fake Crash. So this should be interesting, Crash vs. Crash. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you again on another Crash Bandicoot on the run video real soon. Take care.